<clears throat> excuse me, choking right there. That was a good start to my broadcast. <laughs> Hi, um, this episode, episode number 932. And topic today is 2020 is around the corner. Are you ready? Um, I'm on a bit of a rant right now, and I've also been talking about some other stuff, so I'll jump into that. I was going to do a formal introduction about who I am, but if you haven't seen my broadcast before, why not? I'll show you at the back end where the replays are and get all my description and everything else. So I'm just going to cut to the chase because you don't need to hear the whole intro every time. And I got some feedback from a friend of mine who said, you know, just be present rather than just give them a script or a thing at the front. So this is my wheelhouse, I'll put it that way. <laughs> so um, Facebook Live today, episode number 932. I'll tell you at the back end where you find the replays of the broadcast, you can see all the other ones, etc., etc. et, cetera, et cetera. Um, But let's jump in. So I've been very focused on 2020 and I'm letting you know ahead of time, I'm actually talking about a program that I'm just putting the final tweaks to the sales page because it's coming up and so it's very much a moment about next year like what are we going to do next year I mean yes I'm seeing all the political stuff about the election and the stump speeches and all the other stuff which is not part of my um, not my, my focus in this talk because I'm not interested but I am going to talk about what do you want to create next year now I was actually on a, I'm actually in a mastermind group myself and I was uh, we had a conversation today about you know we're going to kick off 2020 with a new talk a new conversation there's a new decade, and everyone's talking about new decades, and I am too. However, just to be clear, mathematically speaking, 2020 is not a new decade. It may be a new digit, being a two versus a one, but frankly, 2020 is actually the end of the 2019, sorry, the 2010 decade. Let me put it this way. In numbers, you know, simple stuff numbers, I just, this is a pet peeve, so I'm just doing it. If, if, you skip ahead if you don't want to listen, watch this part, just real quick. <laughs> is that numbers basically go from one to 10, not from zero to nine. So when it comes to new decades, the new decade starts at one, not at zero, at least in my book it does. So we should really be talking about 2021 20, being a new decade. But for the sake of this conversation, everybody else is watching, I'm sticking to 2020 being a new decade. So just know that I'm saying 2020 is a new decade, but I don't agree with it. <laughs> Getting that out of the way. All right, so um, what I wanna talk about is is really it's kind of my lament every year and and I'm gonna so this is 2020 so it's a bigger one because it's the new decade in quotes but it is a transformational time when it's time to set up a new paradigm a new year and yeah and we are going through lots of stuff for, so let me slow down a bit I'm rushing a bit <sighs> get a breath we are going through quite a lot of changes right now um, a friend of mine who's a Vedic astrologer was talking about with the solar eclipse coming up this weekend there's a solar eclipse happening, which we won't see on the Western Hemisphere. It's going to be happening daytime on the West Eastern Hemisphere over India. But there's a um, solar eclipse in my brain and gear that basically is going to be setting up some ripples. And because of the alignment of all the planets, and I'm not an astrologer, I'm just remembering what she said. This is going to be a rough time for a lot of people in terms of it's a good time to really be anchored in your truth. It's a good time to be anchored in your solidity of who you are. Because there are going to be lots of things happening to knock us sideways. That's the way I heard it. Now, again, I'm interpreting what she said. It's not my words. It's my understanding of what she said, just to be clear. So my feeling about 2020 is more than ever, well, more than the last year at least, it's a good time to be focusing on what you really want to manifest, create, have happened for you in 2020. Yes, there's the New Year's resolutions of the same old thing. We'd roll out on the carton and take them away again, which happens every year. And I've talk, I'll talk about this in January probably again and again. But New Year's resolutions, if you hadn't already figured this out, are really um, lame attempts at setting up new intentions. Yes, lame attempts. Because if you look at your resolutions, like I've looked at mine, other people look at resolutions, most of them don't tend to last more than three or four weeks into the year. End of January, most resolutions are gone. I do teach a whole bunch of stuff in my Facebook Lives and in my new program, which I've already mentioned. Oh, it's called BFF, and I'll talk about that more in a moment, just so you know you bookmark that. Is that when you want to create a new reality, it doesn't start with resolutions. It starts with intention. Excuse me, it doesn't start with resolutions. It starts with intentions. First of all, there's a difference in both. The reason being is resolutions are seeing like I've got to resolve to get something done. It's, it's a have to, it's a push. It's a very ego-driven energetic of doing something. Whereas an intention is I intend for something to happen. It's like creating a, a, it's like, creating a, a like a boat creates a bow wave. It's like putting a, putting a wave in front of you of where you want to go. And it creates an easier path to get where you want to go. So intentions, first of all, this, this teaching point, take this one home at least. Intentions are way more powerful than resolutions and way more long lasting. So when it comes to next year, and I'm giving you a head for start because it's almost two weeks away, knowing what your intentions are for the new year is a great place to start clarifying your vision intention for where you want to go. Resolutions, 
forget about them <laughs> they're, they're very basic and fundamental yeah yeah they can some people make them work but most resolutions hi sue most resolutions don't have any impact they're basically promises you can't keep excuse me promises you don't keep let's be accurate whereas intentions are not in, not promises they're actually um if not intent, well, if they're not promises what are they i would say they're more um I'm going to say desires are not the right word, but it's, a, it's an intention, it's a directional focus, I'll put it that way. So, as you get ready to get, as you get ready to get ready, as you get ready for 2020, which is coming up shortly, less than two weeks as I mentioned in the title, what is your plan? What are you looking to do for 2020? Are you looking to do the same thing you've always done and be the same place you always are? If that's what as works for you, great, so go for it. But if you want some changes, this may assist you. So again, first of all, set intentions, not resolutions. That will help you start a new direction in place. Secondly, put yourself in the position to move forward where you want to go. As I said, I'm on a mastermind group right now that's going to continue into the new year. I've got another one actually starting second week in January. I'm going to, um, masterminds are good to help place to coordinate, which is why I'm launching my own one in January. I'm calling it a master class because mastermind is too mental. Master class is more teachable. So I'm calling it that. But what I'm clear about is that I want to start New Year 2020 with a whole new paradigm. So this mastermind has been very much fueling that for me and giving me a lot of resource, both in terms of accountability with each other, but also, how do I say this way, useful, additive, helpful feedback that I was willing to receive. Because I was cause sometimes I'm very resentful of feedback, just to be transparent. Um, but sometimes I'm also like, bring it on. I want to really get to know what I'm missing or how I can get clear on it. And I love the fact that this mastermind group's given me a lot of feedback on that point, which is why my, um, why this program came together I'm offering and why the sales page actually is as good as it is. It's not perfect, but there's some. it's been written well because I've some great input from my friends. So I'm not taking responsibility that I did this. I had a lot of input from people who I trust have good insight and feedback and guidance, which is also why I've got a pricing structure on there the way it is, because it's very much a um, great time to strike, to take it on, to do it, to just jump in. So what that's trying to say, <laughs> the bottom line is, 2020 is a good time to vision what you want to create, as I mentioned, a good intention. It's also a good time to find collaboration. If you've got an intention to get somewhere, go somewhere, have something happen, make manifest dreams, get results, it's really helpful to have people in your team, whether it's people that are in your family, your, your, your relationship partner, your parents, your kids, or if it's somebody you want to team up with as a coach or as a mastermind group, that's what I'm doing. Finding some way to get support where you want to go is a huge um, um, what's the word looking for? Leverage. Leverage? Yes, leverage. Yeah. It's huge leverage to get where you want to go. So that's two. That's, that's two gifts right there. <laughs> One, have clear intention of what you want to create in 2020. And two, collaborate, create support, get support, get resources so you can actually springboard into the future in a way you want to have happen. Three, I guess I'm going to give you a few of these. Um, and I'm doing this ahead of time. Usually I wouldn't do this till the last week of December, but I thought I'll do it now because. It's so much in my mind, as I mentioned at the beginning, that I'm, because I'm, I've just started marketing my new course, Masterclass, we're going to call that. And the link will be in the comments, just so you know, it'll be there when you get there, um, after I sign off. But the thing is, what I'm really clear about is, why not, why not start talking about it now? Why wait to the end of the year? Why not get your ducks in a row, so to speak, now, before you even get to January? Because the thing is, if you really want to work on starting a new paradigm in 2020, why would you start on January 1st? Why not start planning now? Why not start planning three weeks ago? Because setting wheels in motion is important to build momentum. And when you want to create a vision or intention that something happens, the more momentum you build, the easier it is for it to happen. And I know because this course that I'm offering is actually the third version, just to be transparent, just totally transparent, like here's, here's all the truth, is the third iteration, the third, the third um, version of something I launched or tried to launch about four months ago. But I had to practice it and try it out and test drive it and see what didn't work and course correct and fiddle with it and play with it. And now it's real. I, I mean, it, it's so visceral for me now. So I'm grateful I did that starting four months ago because now in December, before 2020 starts, I'm ready to go. Now the course, I'm, the master class doesn't start to January 7th. I know it's after January 1st. But the intention is that it creates um, a preview of things that come because the thing about it is when you commit to things for example if you commit to a vacation in, in july or you commit to a vacation excuse me a retreat a seminar a meditation retreat or something in in march 
if you set that up already, like this month for next year, that's creating momentum, that's creating a vision, that's creating a direction where you want to go. The thing is, sometimes you sit down and make and write intentions out. That's okay, but when you commit to something, maybe it is, again, you're going to have a vacation to go to Australia you've never been before, and you want to go in July or August or whatever, although that's winter for them, just knowing the time of year, just to be clear. But if your plan is to go on a trip somewhere special, maybe it is a vacation, or maybe you're going to go to visit family you haven't seen in a long time, or you're going to go and, say, go on a retreat or a training or something that you want to go in March, April, May of next year, what you've done is you've thrown out like a fishing line ahead of you into the new year. It's like a vision pulling you through and intentions pulling you into the future. That's another tool you can use to leverage yourself for the new year. Because what a lot of people are doing, <laughs> getting into what I said at the beginning about politics which I wasn't getting into, is a lot of people are putting up a lot of negativity and doubt and worry about the elections in November in 2020. That doesn't help anybody. Doesn't matter what, I'm not talking about which side of the fence you're on. It doesn't make a difference. What I'm saying, though, is if you set up intentions by putting a certain cast towards the new year that is positive, so going back to what I said about you're going to go on vacation or you're going to go to a retreat or you're doing something special in the new year, ideally that's something you want to do that you're, you're excited about, positive about. By setting that intention out in the future, four, five, six months in a, ahead, it's creating momentum in the direction you want to go in. This is a pivot point. If you get this teaching point, like if you're looking to buy a new car or do something else that is positive and enjoyable and uplifting for you, this idea about setting it up down the road is a powerful motivation to make things happen. And what you're doing is you're enrolling the universe around you. You're enrolling your environment to support you in that. Now, if you go into that place and go in place from dread and doubt, like you may be going thinking about the election, for example, or maybe you're worried about going home and see family, or maybe you something else come up, we're gonna go, I'm not looking forward to that, you're creating negative energy out there. I mean it's simplistic, it's like positive and negative is your choice. You have both to play with. But if you're gonna start the new year fresh, why not start it with a good, positive, intentional direction? It sounds so simple, I know. And it is when I talk about it this way. Because <laughs> I'm doing these you know, I'm doing these ten talks in ten, fifteen minutes chunks. And I'm giving you tasters, I'm giving you hints. And I, again, I will talk at the end about where you can find the replay so you can watch all my other broadcasts. Because these are all different insights that I've had along the way myself. Uh, there have been lessons I've learnt or mistakes I've made, <laughs> more than a few. There are understandings I've come to and the things I've experienced. So what I'm, what I'm intending to give you in these Facebook Lives, all 900, all the way through this coming year will be 1,000, is to really um, add value to your life, to add insight and direction so maybe you can use it to help you get where you want to go so this this is one of those talks <laughs> one of many as i mentioned um and i was thinking if i want to give you anything else in this because that's three i give you three three four different directions for next year so again starting early sorry power of intention starting early to build momentum casting a longer longer directions so you get where you want to go there was another one i had what was the other one i had you know what, watch the replay. If you miss it, if you're getting in now and coming late, I don't know if you can watch back, back and watch the replay to get it myself. Something came through that was useful and it'll help you. So let me give you a couple of quick things as a, as a summarization. Um, as I mentioned, I am launching my new uh, masterclass starting in January 7th. Yes, starting January 7th. However, there's two early bird specials if you sign up now. Actually, there's two early bird specials, one early, one not as good later on. So it's a stair step thing. Um, the link will be in the comments, which is my website, barryselby.com forward slash BFF. Yes, BFF. Not best friends forever, although there is a, there is a note about that in the course, because it's really about relationship with self, hint, hint. But actually, it's about balance, freedom, and flow, which is a way of creating fulfillment in your life. And that's what I'm journeying toward and helping you get there. This coming net was actually a three-month um, masterclass. I mean, go on from there after that, but yeah, I'll put the link in the comments. So you can check it out now because if you do sign up now, you get a lot of you save a lot just to be transparent, and you get some bonuses too. Um, so that link will be in the comments for you to check out. Um, that'll be something you could put out into the new year as casting your fishing line out for, forward to get where you want to go. Makes sense to me. Um, it's got a lot of stuff in it too. So that's that's coming up. I will. I'll promote again to, once again my self love meditation. Um, I've been passionate about my self love guided meditation because it is fundamentally a way to find yourself back way back to yourself i was talking about having accountability partners and and people to, to that was the other that was the fourth one having people you partner with through the new year to really become like a team well if you don't have a team with yourself first you're missing the boat 
phoning the way back to loving yourself, supporting yourself, means you don't put your dependencies on other people. You can put your invitation out there and you get some help from other people, but if you put your intention on yourself first and you love yourself first, you come back to anchor in the support of yourself first, making my point here, then you'll be in a much better place to go where you want to go. So I'll put the link for that in my comments too. It's a guided meditation, two audio tracks, an AM and PM meditation, and a workbook. You can use that, or actually it's a guidebook. Guide, what? It's a guide, it's a book. <laughs> That'll help you get through the paradigm to get where you want to go. And so the self-love meditation and my BFF course will both be in the comments. If you have any questions about this, or if you want to get some extra clarifications on what I said, because I do rush through a bit quickly, please let me know in the comments and I'll respond when I sign off. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, shame on you. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash Barry Selby. That's 5 p.m. Pacific time every day of the week, seven days a week, unless I'm doing something unusual, then I might do it another time, but it's every day. So I invite you to come watch me there live. You can join me any day you want. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, or if you want to catch up with some of my replays, there's a bunch of them on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. There's also, um, and you can like my page, please. There's there's not all of the, there's not a lot of them there because Facebook doesn't seem to show everything. It's a feature, I know. So I have basically got a backup though of all my Facebook lives onto my on my YouTube channel. So if you go to my YouTube YouTube channel, which is youtube.com/user/barryselby, my name. You can subscribe to my channel and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine where every single one of my broadcasts, I've checked, they're all out there. From newest to oldest are archived and you can look through them um, in the playlist, Messages from the Masculine, as I mentioned. And you can sort through by, you search through by keywords or by titles, whatever you want to look for to find what you want. So I think that's about it. So again, in the comments will be my BFF call, uh, masterclass and my, and my self-love meditation. You've got the replays to go check out those. And... I may be doing some more talks between now and the end of the year about 2020. Probably will. But my invitation to you is to look at what you're planning for the new year. Do you have some clarity about where you want to go? Are you willing to drop the resolutions to have intentions? Are you getting support, resources around you to help you get where you want to go in the new year? And are you setting up intentions for the new year far enough out that it will pull you into the new year towards the, towards the direction of your dreams? If you're doing all three of those, awesome. If you're not, do them or get some help to do them. That's why, again, I've got the BFF course created. So I think that's really about it. It hopefully makes sense to you. There'll be more, as more stuff comes through, I'll, I'll share it with you. That's what I do. And I uh, hope it's been of some help. If you have any questions, message me, as always. And as a reminder, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.